Hey, Booze, what's for lunch? <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome back to Kiki Cuisine. I'm Joey Camassa, and today we're making shrimp ceviche tostados. All you're gonna need for this is some shrimp, some diced cucumber, diced white onion, diced Roma tomato, diced avocado, some cilantro, jalapeno, garlic, and then we have lemon and lime juice, some olive oil, salt and pepper, and of course your tortillas for the tostadas. And someone says to me, Joey, what's your favorite cuisine in the world? It's very hard to toss up, but Mexican is definitely one of my top two. And this is such a light, refreshing um, appetizer I like to make for all different parties, especially during the summer when we're doing margaritas, if we're going by the pool or something, it's a hot day. This is something that's refreshing. It's a very low cook. You just kind of poach the shrimp a little bit, but your traditional ceviche, you cook the seafood in lemon and lime juice and citrus juice. But um, a lot of people are squeamish about raw shrimp like that right away. Even though it does cook with the acid, um, I just kind of parboiled my shrimp really quickly. I just did a little, uh, little boiling water for one minute take it out and put it in an ice bath to shock it. That'll stop the cooking. And then as it sits in the fridge to marinate, the rest of the cooking will get done by the citrus juice there. So basically it's just assembling at this point. We have our parboiled shrimp here, and we're just gonna chop this up first and get it onto our bowl. These you just wanna do in bite-sized pieces. You wanna be able to have this on a tostada. You don't want anything falling off. So I just cut into like half inch pieces like this. Um, you can also do this as a classic ceviche. You can do this with uh, any, really any seafood you want. Those little base scallops are good. Some ahi sushi grade tuna, it's beautiful with any kind of white fish. They do this with like all different kinds of fish in Mexico, but this is, you know, this is the more common, easy one to do because it's, you know, more crowd pleasing. You can even buy pre-cooked shrimp and just chop it like this and don't have to do any cooking at all. It just makes it super simple, a lot, no, no cleanups. You can get back to the party, hang out with your guests, get back in the pool and kiki, girl, because no one wants to be slaving over a stove, okay? We should go on the street and pass this out to um, migrant workers. <laughs> To test, to test the authenticity. Our par-cooked shrimp is done, and we're gonna have this to our bowl. This is the star of the show. Next, we're gonna add our diced cucumber. This is the Persian cucumber. You don't wanna do big, heavy, uh, the big waxy cucumbers with this. You wanna use the smaller Persian cucumbers or the English cucumbers, because you wanna eat the skin with it. Add those in. In Mexican cooking, you never use a yellow onion, and I think rarely even a red onion. White onion is the way to go, because it's a bright, clean flavor, and it lets all the other uh, ingredients shine. So I always use white onion with this. Um, if you don't like a lot of onion, you can use a shallot here if you want, um, but white onion is traditional. Next, we're gonna do some chopped aroma tomatoes, just like that. We're actually, this is actually just a pico de gallo and shrimp mixed together with avocado. Jalapenos, diced jalapeno. If you don't like jalapenos, leave them out. I mean, if you, I mean, you can add bell pepper if you want, but I think that's gonna be gross. Um, just leave it out if you don't like spice. But you know, if you just take the ribs and the seeds out of it, it's not that spicy anyway. We have some avocado from Mexico. These are Haas avocado. And this is gonna give it that creamy, rich bite. Last but not least, I'm gonna add some garlic to it. Um, I don't wanna chop the garlic, I want it to melt into it. Um, so I'm gonna use a microplane. So you just take a garlic clove like this. You're microplane, the finest one you have. And we're just going to microplane it in there because it's gonna just melt right into the dressing once we get it going. Let's do about three cloves. One for the past, present, and future. Meanwhile, I'm getting my tostadas ready. I have my um, I have some neutral oil on the pot over there getting ready to deep fry. Now we mix this all up and get everyone mixed into the party. Everyone can mix and mingle in here. We're international queens, look at us. Authentico. In this bottle, I make my own fresh squeezed citrus juice for this. Um, traditionally, it's lemon and lime juice. I have lemon and lime juice in here. Always fresh squeeze. you can't bite out of a bottle, it does not taste the same. And this is what's gonna cook the rest of the fish, marinate all of the vegetables, and create that signature ceviche. We are going to add some salt to it. The, the shrimp had a little salt in it except with the water, but um, don't over salt it, because you can always add more. And the longer it sits, the more flavor it's gonna absorb. So season a little bit, and then add more later. Also add a little bit of olive oil, just to kind of make it a little bit more luscious. Just a good quality olive oil. Oh my god. This smells insane. And the longer this sits, the better it gets. So definitely make this like the night before. Not the night before, but at least let it sit in the fridge for an hour to chill to get all the flavors melted together. Next, we have to garnish with our cilantro. Now this is optional. If you don't like cilantro, I know a lot of people don't like it, but it makes the dish. If you don't like cilantro, grow up. Give this a nice rough chop. Okay, now we're gonna add the cilantro. Just kind of sprinkle that on all over and mix it up. Beautiful. Okay, this looks good. Let's taste it for seasoning now. You guys, oh my God. A little more salt. It is so fresh. Mmm. A lot more salt. I forgot. This is a lot of salt. So this needs time to, to everyone to get to know each other. Not in the fridge. I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap. I hate this fucking thing. Okay, put this in the fridge and then we're gonna make our fresh homemade tostachos. 
tostadas. When you go to a Mexican restaurant, there's nothing better when you sit down and get that big bowl of hot, freshly fried chips. Well, that's how they make them in restaurants. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do it at home. Um, I'm gonna show you just a regular tortilla, um, how to make the chips. So you get a stack like this, and they just cut it into fours. And this is tortilla chips. This is a great way to do it, but I'm gonna make tostados today, which are gonna be um, little circles. So what I'm doing here is I take a stack like this, and these are so affordable. I think this pack was like $2. So it's a super affordable way to do it at home. It's probably cheaper than buying a whole bag of tortilla chips. Get a cookie cutter. I get this at the restaurant supply. There's all different sizes you can make. This one's about, I don't know, three inches. Liam, come here. Um, and I just cut it right out the center. You could probably, can't, I can't get two out of this one, but I, what I do with the rest of this is, um, I make tortilla strips for salad, for taco salad. I just cut it into strips, fry them, and then I can use those for a taco salad so I'm not wasting any scraps for any nosy people in the audience. Um, so I just take the cookie cutter, press down, and that's it. So let's get these frying. So I have some neutral oil heating up here. Now ladies, if you ever get feminine hygiene products stuck up there, you can call me, I have these tweezers. When you're frying things, you always wanna have a wire lined rack like this so it can drain on there. You don't wanna have to be sitting in oil. So if you put it right on a plate, um, once it's hot, it's gonna steam your fried thing and it's gonna become soft and mushy and not crisp and crunchy. And you're really just looking for color here. You just gotta watch it and you know, do it low and slow because if you go too fast, you're gonna deep fry fast and they're gonna get burnt right away. Okay, and as soon as they come out, they're still hot, you wanna salt them because the salt will stick right to them. Okay, it's time to assemble. We have my ceviche that's been uh, marinating in the fridge for a couple hours. The flavors has melted together. Everything's kind of softened. It's much more robust and fresh and yummy. So that's ready to go. And our tortillas are hot off the press. Watch how easy this is. So you just take a tortilla, or a tostada as they call in the biz, and top with just about like a tablespoon or so. Place it on your tray. Now, I don't know why. I'm tempted to put a crema on this, but I don't know if that's traditional. Are there any real Mexican people in the, in the chat that can tell me if crema would be sacrilegious on this? If I had like a, like a lime crema drizzled on this, I think it'd be delicious. Look at this platter. And this is also something good if you're doing past hors d'oeuvres at your party. At my bris, I had a past hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> we did little cocktail weenies. It was on trend. I mean, bitch, look! This is so decadent and fancy, but so easy and fresh. If this is your second time watching the show, like what, where are all his guests? Like he acts like he has all his friends. Well, magic of TV. There are no friends. No one's coming. I just turn the camera off and eat my feelings. I wish I was lying. Ooh, this looks fancy. If I saw this working at a party, I'd be like, ooh, this bitch got money. Unbelievable. Now we're gonna garnish with a little cilantro leaf on each one. You know what would be good here I don't have? If you can find micro cilantro, like at the Whole Foods or like at a fancy grocery store or the farmer's market, micro cilantro, would be the approved garnish because it's little and it's fuzzier. You just always want to garnish to make it look like you put some effort into it. Because you know, when you eat with your eyes first and your guests see that you're doing this at the extra step, they're gonna appreciate all the hard work you put into it. And I'm the kind of person, after I serve my guests, I stand in the back and watch everyone's reaction as they eat it. And then I judge them. If they're, if they're not like ooh and eyeing, then they can't let you see. That's why you have to have cameras around the house. Now I just add a couple limes. Even though it has lime juice in it, I just think it's, you know, if someone wants a little extra zest, Mm. You got it. You're getting this fresh crunch of the veggies. The, uh, the white onion is just perfectly pickled. The creaminess of the avocado. The shrimp is just juicy and sweet. And that fresh, warm crunch of the salty tortilla that we just fried. This is why I love this. It's, it's summer on a tortilla. It is bright, it's fresh, it's coastal. I feel like I'm at, on the beach in Mexico. The only thing that can make these better is a margarita. And I'm gonna make that next. Okay, our tostados were a hit. Now we need a kiki cocktail to go with them. I'm making a margarita today, but not just any margarita. I'm making my peach habanero margaritas and they're gonna go perfect with our tostados. What you're gonna need for this is following ingredients. Canned or jarred peaches in syrup. You need habanero peppers, lime juice, fresh squeezed, tequila, triple sec, and you'll also need tahini to garnish, which is kind of like a spicy, limey little seasoning for Mexico. It's delicious. So normally I make a simple syrup with my fruit compotes, but I don't need to do that with this because this is all in one. In this jar, it's sugar, water, and peaches. So that's basically a simple syrup and the peaches. Instead of cooking it down, because these are already kind of like poached, I think, I'm just gonna put these in a blender, blend it up, and make a delicious um, puree, a peach puree that's gonna already be sweetened so I don't have to add any extra sugar. I'm gonna dump the whole thing in. 
I'm not gonna say what that sounded like. Let's blend this up. I'm not driving, fuck it. Okay, next, habaneros. Now, habaneros are one of the spicier peppers. I don't know what the Scoville scale on it is. I'm not a chili, chili expert, but I know these are fucking spicy. But what I like them is because they're orange and they go with the peach kind of color of my cocktail, but they're also very floral. They have a very floral, citrusy note to them naturally. But um, I think we're not gonna even need one whole one. I'm gonna put one in, because this is a lot of juice now, and we're gonna see how it tastes. Um, but you wanna use gloves for this, but I don't feel like getting them. So I'm gonna cut this stem off and then cut it in half because I, the, all the heat is inside on these seeds and stems. And see, the seeds, like the membrane, that white stuff. So let's just take all that out to make it less spicy. Cause I don't wanna burn my asshole off. Okay, and then I just pop it in. Let's do one half first. Imagine the thing explode. <gasps> the, blender's not, the blender's not used to such things so spicy. Oh my God, it's very good. Ladies, this is a whole big ass jar of peaches. This is all the pepper you're gonna need for this entire thing. Maybe not even that, maybe a quarter of this, if you don't like place. I have to sell these now to a, to a chili dealer. I only, I only needed a half. Now we have to add the lime juice. This is fresh squeezed. About that much. I think it's equal parts. I'm not sure. A little triple second there. You can have to use this. This is just kind of adds a little bit more a zesty kind of a feel to it. It's an orange liqueur. Maybe a splishy special of that. Okay, let's taste our spicy zesty base. Mm. She's fresh. Very good. I'm gonna take your glass like this. We're gonna rim them with tahini. Tahini is a, a spicy pepper. It has spices in it, it has citric acid. Let's take your glass, rim it around with a lime to get it wet and it's kind of the glue. And then in a deep bowl like this, you just put it in. Shake it up. And you have a rimmed glass. Look at us. Use the habaneros with caution, ladies and gents. I don't think there's any men watching this, do you? Now we're gonna get our cocktail shaker, fill this with ice. This is all beautiful. We have ice in our shaker, we also have some big cubed ice here I'm gonna use for my cocktail because it just looks cool. You can use whatever tequila you like. I'm using Blanco today. And then our spicy peach habanero. And we're just gonna give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. I just wanna shake it to the, oh, that's, that's copyright infringement. I'm afraid this top's gonna fall off. Let me hold it like this. Okay. Woo! Put up, put up, make it all fall out. Ooh, strip clubs and dollar bills. Still got my money. Hey! Now, we garnish. Oh, look at this. I have a peach that I sliced thinly and just put on a skewer. Or turn that upside down and fan it out. I am so gay, you guys. Look how pretty! Okay guys, the fire alarm just went off in the building because these are too hot to handle. I'm gonna give it a taste now. We have our gorgeous peach garnish. We have our tahini rim going on there. Our gorgeous um, peach puree and tequila. Let's give this a try. I always say that, but well, wow, well balanced. That's really well balanced. The saltiness from the rim, it's smoky, it's spicy. The pepper hits you at the end, but it's not like overbearing. So if you don't like spice, it's not too spicy at all because the peach kind of sweetens it out. Mm, it's just easy to drink. It's not overbearing, not too much tequila, not too much alcohol. And these are perfect for pool days, for turning up, turn up Tuesdays, wild out Wednesdays, thought Thursdays, fuck them all Fridays, and sassy Saturday. Spicy, sweet, tangy, and definitely a kiki. Well girls, it's fiesta time. My cocktails are made, my tostadas are ready to go, the guests are getting here. Now it's just time to party. Make sure to make these recipes, tell me how you like them, and tag Kiki Cuisine. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Kiki Cuisine.